Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to share with you these just simple standard vellum envelopes. And as you can see, they're just standard size. And I mean, nowadays everyone has an envelope maker, but sometimes I just like to, um, you know, have a traditional envelope because most envelope makers, you know, do the cross thing. So I thought I would just do my own um, vellum standard size. So I added a bread on these, and then this one I just, you know, added a little twine with a star. Um, and I just want you to see, so when you open it, it just, you know, is a standard size envelope. And I left these on here because uh, for me, I put in like, you know, sequins or something clear, and you want that to have that um, border in there so that, you know, it doesn't spill out. <clears throat> So let's get started. I'm going to be using a um, eight by 10 and a half inch vellum paper. And of course you can do this with any paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down at um, the uh, 10 and a half inch score. And we're going to score this at two and a quarter, which this is going to be the lid, and seven inch. Oops. And you got to be so careful when you're working with them because it is definitely finicky and you can destroy it. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn it <clears throat> at the eight inch score. And I'm going to score this at a half an inch. Super simple measurements. And um, <clears throat> seven and a half. So it should be a half inch on each side. Okay, and now I'm just gonna cut out these two bottom um, pieces. It's just gonna be like all our little other envelopes and coin things. I just do this one a little bit differently. Okay, I'm gonna cut out this other side. And we're also gonna cut out um, two more at the top for the lid portion. And do not, <clears throat> do not uh, score the, or fold your squares until you're done cutting because vellum is so finicky you will probably destroy it. So I cut out the two rectangles on the side at the bottom. Now I'm gonna flip it to the smaller side, which is gonna be your lid. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out too. Um, this side and that side. Oh my gosh, my nails are horrible, you guys. It's the quarantine nails. And this nail polish that I use is a non-toxic, like cleaner nail polish, and it will not come off. When I use the um, nail polish removers, it is like solid on there. So it's like I have to wait for it to peel. It's horrible. I'm probably just gonna take it off and not put any on. Okay, and I'm just doing the other side. I'm gonna lay it down so you can see. So it should look like this, okay? Now, before I fold this, this is when I wanna do my corner chomping and everything because like I said, vellum is super finicky. So I'm just gonna corner chomp all of my corners. Okay, and now is the time you would want to um, score everything and be really, really careful when you score because vellum does not score like everything else. Um, it will definitely mess up your score if you're not careful so there's like that and i did forget to sometimes i like to do my little corners so see i don't really want to mess with it but i do like to do my little corners right here and i'm gonna leave the top so there's that corner and you actually don't have to do this but okay and I'm going to fold these in and I um, glue these inside my envelope. So you're just going to go ahead and fold it down like that. 
And I'm gonna put your glue, do not put it over here because this is gonna be long, this is gonna be longer. So make sure you put it on this side of your paper. So we're here and we're here. Because I, I mean, I have my We Are Memory um, punch, but it's just, like I said, it's nice to have a different style envelope. You don't want all your envelopes to look the same. And these would be beautiful inside of a junk journal or, um, you know, something like that. Okay, and now I'm just going to fold my lid. Like I said, be really careful when you're doing these creases because it will absolutely fold wrong. I feel like this is lopsided. Okay, it's not. So that is my envelope right here. Now let me just um, show you a little trick because I am going to do a junk journal. Melissa from the um, Vintage Goose has definitely inspired me. So let me just show you a fun little trick real quick um, for a junk journal. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this cutie in half. Okay, so first of all, um, you will wanna seal this part right here, okay? Um, actually, okay, and just so you know, I like to stick sequins in my vellum because I just think it looks pretty, adds a little pop. Um, so normally I would do something like that, but for the junk journal, what you wanna do is seal your envelope at the top we we'll just seal it in general. Make sure you have it do down. So then you're gonna simply fold this in half. Okay, so like that. And I will probably just fold the crease real good. And now what we're gonna do is Take your two edges and slice the edge of your envelope off. And you're gonna have two little inserts right here for your pockets. So um, if I was making a junk journal, uh, I'm trying to find a little paper here. So when you have your junk journal, you're gonna be binding it like this and um, I'm just trying to show you. So I'm going to pull this in half so you can see what it looks like. So when you have your booklet and you're going through everything, you're going to have this awesome, cool little vellum pocket. And I would actually probably flip it this way so you don't see that part. So when you do your junk journal or your little page, you're gonna have this little envelope that's pretty vellum envelope. This page, you're gonna come and then you're gonna have this other vellum envelope. So pretty, right? So this is just my fun, easy tutorial for today. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you.